If you want to get your video made, first, share this video. Twitter, Facebook, Insta, whatever. Then like it. Then you go into a queue. The more thumbs ups you get, the more chance of winning. And that's it. On to the episode. T-Rex versus Giganotosaurus. Giganotosaurus and T-Rex lived millions of years apart in different areas. The long-skulled Giganotosaurus, who's larger than a T-Rex, was native to South America and lived during the Mesozoic era, 97 million years ago. While the robust and muscular T-Rex, native to North America, lived during the Cretaceous period, 67 million years ago. But let's put them together. Who would win in a fight? Well, let's find out. For some stats. T-Rex. Height. 5, 6 meters at head. Length. 12.3 meters upwards. We know 15 meter T-Rexes probably existed. Weight. 6 to 8 tons average. Maximum up to 15 tons. May I fantasize? Diet. Large and armored dinosaurs. But some say he might have been a scavenger pussy. Who knows? Doesn't look like one. Now onto the weapons of T-Rex. Tyrannosaurus had a bite force of around 6.5 tons and had over 60 20 centimeter teeth lining his 1.2 meter jaw. Using his bite force and teeth, Tyrannosaurus could easily tear off over 60 kilograms of flesh in one bite. He could potentially kick using his legs, but unlikely as it would probably unbalance him. When battling, the T-Rex most likely would try and ram Giganotaurus using his large head. Now onto the stats of Giganotosaurus. Height at head, 6 meters. Length, 14, 15 meters. Weight, 8 to 9 tons average. Diet, Argentinosaurus and other large sauropods and herbivores. Now onto the weapons of Giganotosaurus. He had a huge skull with sharp teeth. Short arms with three-fingered clawed hands. But not as short as T-Rex's. Okay, let's start with the advantages of T-Rex. The T-Rex possessed the largest teeth of any land predator we know of. They grew upwards of up to 12 inches, making them four inches longer than those of Giganotosaurus. T-Rex had some of the bluntest teeth of any land carnivore. They were serrated, but not like Giganotosaurus's, emphasizing a completely different killing style altogether. Whereas Giganotosaurus killed by slicing, T-Rex killed by crushing its prey using its teeth. The T-Rex possessed the most heavily muscled neck of any theropod we know of. The skull was also broad and wide, making it completely unique from other theropods as well. This, along with an incredibly wide lower jawbone, gave it massive biting power. It had a significantly larger brain to process better and more efficient killing tactics. T-Rex had phenomenal eye vision in comparison to Giganotosaurus. However, the real difference comes in where the eyes were set. In Giganotosaurus, and nearly all other giant theropods before T-Rex, their eyes were set at the sides of the skull, giving them a good all-round vision. However, their frontal vision was basically blind, giving it no real 3D depth. Tyrannosaurus rex had eyes set in the front of its skull, allowing for excellent stereoscopic vision, giving it the ability to see in front. Yeah, kind of helps. This is a huge leap in advantage, because as we see today, numerous land predators possess the same. Tigers, lions, jaguars, leopards, hyenas, wolves, bears, eagles, all have great stereoscopic vision, which basically allows them to judge depth and calculate distance. While Giganotosaurus would have to sway his head from side to side in order to gauge depth, T-Rex wouldn't need to do this. Yeah, it kind of helps to kind of battle not having to swing your head from side to side. Jesus. Now onto the disadvantages of T-Rex. Ooh, let me guess, the tiny puny arms. And he was slightly smaller and lighter. Probably slower too. Actually, not looking good. Now onto the advantages of Giganotosaurus. Giganotosaurus is much larger than the T-Rex and a ton heavier. T-Rex might have a powerful bite force, but the Giganotosaurus could use his slashing teeth to wound the T-Rex, and then keep his distance till the T-Rex bled out. Now to the disadvantages of the Giganotosaurus. We know that the bite force of the T-Rex was stronger by a long shot. In fact, only C. Megalodon, a prehistoric shark, could have outbit the T-Rex in history, if that's a word. Giganotosaurus had eyes at the sides of his head and his vision was very primitive. He had a smaller brain and wasn't as intelligent as the T-Rex. 
who was pretty dumb. Well, I, actually, I don't want to be judgmental. Maybe dinosaurs could write and, you know, those little cave etchings actually came from dinosaurs. The Earth is flat. Disclaimer, I don't believe any of that. Okay, verdict. I reckon T-Rex would win 80% of the time. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, in this particular instance, Giganotaurus wins 60% of the time. Because, actually that doesn't make sense. Okay, in this particular instance, Giganotaurus wins, but the T-Rex would win 55% of the time. Tyrannosaurus Rex would have the clear cut advantage in this make-believe fight. The facts are simple. T-Rex is far more powerful. It has a more devastating killing weapon. His bite is more devastating because he has blunt teeth. Basically one bite, you're out. Giganotaurus can slash away from a distance, but he needs a few bites. And the T-Rex is more advanced in terms of its evolutionary line of tools. Bigger brain, stereoscopic vision. It's just more evolved. But the V-Rex could kick T-Rex's ass. Yes. Anyway, all of this gives T-Rex a huge stomp to Giganotaurus, I'm afraid. But this particular animation, Jigga won. So don't come at me fanboys anyway. I'm sure there's more T-Rex fanboys than Jigga fanboys. I might be wrong, comments below. Anyway, which dinosaur video should I make next? First share the video and it goes into this system. Ah, yeah, see I know when you share. And then I'll put your suggestions on a list and then it might get made. So yeah, share, like, and then comment below.